How's it going? Today, we are going to be setting up JavaFX on IntelliJ IDEA. So first of all, we need to go ahead and get our IntelliJ set up. You want to go over to this website over in here. Then you want to go and scroll down until you see download. So go ahead, click that download. Now it's going to say a 30 day free trial. You want to scroll past that because it's actually a free and open source application for uh, personal use. So you can just click download over here and save it. And just like that, it's going to download IntelliJ. Okay, we got that program downloaded now. So we want to go over to our file explorer and then downloads. Now we're going to go ahead, double click the file and it should prompt a wizard. You're gonna go ahead and get this UAC prompt. You just wanna hit yes on that. Next, and then just hit next. Now here, this part's a little important. So update path variable, you're going to want to do this because it'll basically allow you to uh, use command line with your, uh, with your Java. So adding bin is pretty useful for that. You also want to create a desktop shortcut so you can easily access your IDE. I'd recommend also having update context menu because it means that you can open up a folder in File Explorer as a project within IntelliJ, so I'd highly recommend doing that. And on Windows 11 it would show up in uh, this menu once you go ahead and install it. So I want to add that. And then Create Associations is also very very good because if you have that and you see any of these files in your file explorer, it'll open them up in IntelliJ instead of it being an unrecognized file. Okay, we're going to hit next now and install. And just like that, it should install IntelliJ. All right, now you're going to go ahead and get the screen. We can go ahead and reboot now. All right, we are back on our desktop. So we're gonna go ahead, click this IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition shortcut that we made earlier. It's first gonna ask us about telemetry. I'd recommend not sending telemetry, but if you want to, you absolutely can. All right, now it's gonna prompt you with this welcome after maybe a few more wizard steps. So now that we're here, we wanna create a new project. Now the first thing you're going to see is an option for uh, Java and JavaFX. We want to make a JavaFX application, so that's what we're going to go ahead and do. Now before we just create our application, we need to look closely at the JDK. By default, it will try to download the Microsoft JDK if you are on Windows. If you're on Linux or Mac, it will likely download a JDK that is compatible with those systems. Now what we want to do is we want to go to this drop down and click on it and then click on download JDK. Now it'll give us a ton of options for different Java versions that we can install. I'm going to use version 21 because it's an LTS release and it gets like, you know, it has a longer support than other versions. The other ones don't get as much software support, whereas version 21 is going to get software support for quite a long time so i'd recommend using that one now in terms of a uh, vendor we don't want to use the microsoft one we actually want to use bellsoft full and the reason is because this includes all of the dependencies for java fx out of the box you're not going to get that with the microsoft open jdk but you will get it with bellsoft's jdk and again make sure it's the full one if it's not full it will not have JavaFX, but if it's the full one, it will include JavaFX. All right, so we're gonna go ahead, select that, and we're just gonna name this one Dummy. And the reason is because the first project we try to make will actually fail, but then the second project and then all future projects after it should succeed. So we're just gonna go ahead and get this started. Now, I'd recommend having all of these selected. It's just generally works better that way. So we're going to get a lot of uh, different pop-ups, 
One thing you want to do is exclude folders. You want to do this for every project you're on. It'll basically make it to where Windows Defender won't uh, try to interrupt you if you're writing code. That's, that's basically what that's for. We're going to take a quick look at all these different background tasks. It's downloading this and just, just kind of let it go and do its thing. If you receive a user account control with elevator, you want to go ahead and hit yes. All right, now we're just going to go ahead and click play. Now it's going to go ahead and throw an error. Now this is completely normal when you first install it. The way to fix it, this is so funny, you make a new project and then every future project will just work. So I'm going to call this an actual Java FX app. Yep, that's what we're going to call it. And we're going to once again make sure that it's Liberica Full 21. So we're going to have it set to that. And for artifact, you cannot have spaces. So I'm just going to throw some hyphens in there. It's a vibe. Now we got next. Oh, there's a space there. Going to go to next. And then once again, we're going to select all of these. So we're going to do that right now. And create. And this window. We don't need the dummy app anymore. It's going to go ahead and resolve some dependencies. Once again, you'll want to exclude folders, and that's just good practice for every project you're working on. And you'll probably receive, yep, there's the UAC prompt. I want to go ahead and say yes on that. And it's going to go ahead, update that Microsoft Defender configuration, and it has to download some plugins. And yeah, kind of just let it do its thing for a couple minutes. Alright, now that everything has loaded, all you have to do is hit the play button now, and it should work. And as you can see, we've got a working JavaFX application. 